Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, which is video number three in our Python Selenium tutorial series, we're going to discuss setting up your environment that you're going to use uh, for the rest of this series. There are three parts to setting up your environment. First is the IDE or your Python installation. Second is installing the Selenium module. And third is installing Chrome driver. I'm going to go over step by step on how to do every one of those things. So uh, first things first, setting up uh, PyCharm. Okay. To get to PyCharm, to download it, what we're going to do is just type in PyCharm in Google search. The first uh, item that comes up will be a link to JetBrains and you can click this download button there's another more direct version which is here uh, oh I'm sorry nope oh, this was it download here we click download it'll bring us to this page you select your uh, operating system Windows Mac or Linux we're using Mac and then select your version uh, if you're just doing this for educational purposes select community if you're doing it as a professional, use professional, obviously. It's really simple to download. Uh, and once you downloaded it, uh, it will prompt you to create your first project. The, the download installation, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go over, it's very simple. But here's our, we're gonna go to, once we have it open, we're gonna go to new project. And then what should we call this? We we'll call this YouTube tutorial project. We're going to create a new virtual environment, click create, we're going to do this in a new window, I don't want to be asked that again. In our new project, there will be a bunch of this you know, preloaded text, I'm going to get rid of it, and I'm going to paste in this code. This code is in the link below, so there's a link to all the code here, uh, don't stress about it. You can just click that link below and grab this, or you can just pause this and, and copy and paste, it's only a few lines of code. So once we have this pasted in, you're going to see these red underlines with for Selenium. That's because we've not installed the module. I'm going to show you how to do that. You click PyCharm at the top, and you click Preferences, uh, you go down to your Projects, you click Interpreter. You could also, I think, just type in Interpreter. Yeah, it'll take you right there. But we'll go here. We have to select the interpreter on this new project. Uh, you click show all, select, you hit the plus sign, uh, and then we'll use the existing interpreter, which is the one that was created for this project. So just click use the existing environment, and you'll see this is YouTube tutorial project, VENV, bin Python. That just corresponds with a file up here in the top left. Click OK, click OK, click okay we go back because I shouldn't have clicked okay I should have clicked this plus sign here so we just went back into uh, PyCharm preferences Python interpreter and we have to install this selenium package to do that now once we uh, have gone here project to your project your Python interpreter and then you click the plus sign you just do a basic search for selenium once you do that, the first one that comes up should be see, Selenium. And there's Selenium. We click Install Package down here. I just clicked that. And you look right down here, Installing Package Selenium, yada, 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 indexing, it's running. Package installed successfully. Great. So now we can close out of this. And you'll see that the red lines are gone, and we can now run this. Okay. So let's see what happens if we run this, which is... This script is just going to open up a Google. Uh, it's going to just open up a, a Chrome browser and load the web page google.com. Uh oh. There's an error. It cannot find our Chrome driver. Uh oh. So, how do we install the Chrome driver after we've installed Selenium? Well, here's the location where it's going to go. So, let's, let's start by opening that up first. We'll navigate there. How do you do that? Well, 
you open up your finder and you type in command shift and the letter G and that's going to open up a kind of like a, a file explorer you know location where you can type in slash user slash local slash bin and that will take you to this binary folder this is where we're going to put our Chrome driver but you say I don't have the Chrome driver how do I get it it's a great question we go into Google and we type in download Chrome web driver. The first result will be chromium or chromedriver.chromium.org slash downloads. Okay. Once we are here, it'll show us all the versions of the Chrome driver we could download. There's 104, 103, 102. Which one do you get? Well, that's a great question. Um, to find out which one you get, you have to open up Chrome. You go to the help box and you type about Google about right, and, I'm, and you go to about Google Chrome. Once you get to about Google Chrome, you'll see that I'm running version 103. So when we download our Chrome web driver, we have to get the corresponding version to what we have installed for Google Chrome. Simple enough, which is right here. If you're using Chrome version 103, download this. Don't download 101. And if you update it, you're going to have to update this file as well. So if you update to 104, you're going to have to you're going to have to replace this file. So we click there, we click Chrome driver 103. It then brings us to this directory of downloads. There's all these options. Linux, no we're not running Linux. Mac 64, yes, we're running Mac 64 and we don't have the M1 chip and we're not running Windows. So let's click that. That's going to download our Chrome driver. We click it, it unzips it. Uh See how it named it Chrome Driver 2? That's because I've got two versions. So let me just change this to .old, which was my .old version. And I'm going to rename that to Chrome Driver. Just fix it because I had another version installed. I just it didn't know, you know, didn't want to have a duplicate file name. It changed it to Chrome Driver 2. So I just press Control C or uh, Command C rather. And I've copied that to my clipboard, the Chrome Driver. And we're going to place that right here in that in that directory we had just opened by doing command shift and G and navigating here we're gonna paste it right in there and it's a protected folder so we gotta put in our password and now it's there which corresponds to this location and then after we have that installed properly we can create a new instance of our driver this is just a variable name we made and then we're going to run webdriver.chrome and then pass in services equals s which is this name we made right here and then we do driver.get google chrome and this is going to open up uh, a new web browser and navigate to https colon slash slash google chrome dot, or google.com and let's press play and we'll run it Chrome driver cannot be verified. Ah, okay. So this, because this is a new version, we need to uh, enable this unidentified piece of software. How do we do that? Well, you go into preferences, system preferences rather, security and privacy. Whoops. So you have to let this run first. And then this will come up. It says Chrome driver was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. I click allow anyway and then we rerun our script. Mac OS cannot verify so this is a different error. The developer of Chrome driver, are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I'm sure. We open it and now our script runs and it opens Google. How fantastic is that? So we now have, once you, once you open up Google with your Chrome driver, that's pretty much confirmed. You've installed PyCharm correctly. You've installed the Selenium module and you've downloaded the Chrome driver. You've imported the proper uh, modules. You set the right location of your Chrome driver and you've made sure that Chrome driver matches up with your version of Chrome. You passed in that location to your driver, to your instance of your web driver. And then you ran the get command and you opened up Google Chrome. So congratulations, you've run, you've run your first uh, Selenium script. 
Uh, if you got anything out of this video, hit the like button, and we're going to go more in-depth. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.